If you ever explore the world of microbrands, you'll know that the level of creativity out there is ridiculously high, and that pretty much every corner you turn of that microbrand world, you'll find watches that take inspiration from so many parts of life. For me, the more creative the better, and the more quirky that inspiration is, the better too. So when I got my hands on the Yes World Watch V7, a watch that is inspired by the sun and one whereby you can tell times for sunrise and sunset, zenith, true midnight and twilight simply at a glance, I couldn't wait to put it on my wrist, road test it and film it. Today we're taking a closer look at the Yes World Watch V7 and briefly overviewing its functionality and aesthetics. And stick around as I take the Yes World Watch V7 to the stunning, and I mean stunning, Tim and Fair National Park before making my way to the small fishing village of El Golfo to watch the sunset, both in the beautiful Spanish island of Lanzarote. As ever, it's great to have you here. Let's now take a look at some key spec and features of the S World Watch V7, all in the next 90 seconds. If anything, the Yes World Watch V7 is definitely one of a kind. It unites the natural cycles of the sun and the moon with the very basic fundamentals of the purpose of a wristwatch, which is to tell the time. The Yes Watch company was actually incorporated back in 1999 in Marin County, California. In 2000, they launched their first collection, the classic Yes World Watch, and by 2001, Yes released the Solstice Limited Collection. By 2002, the World Watch 2 was updated to include times for moonrise and moonset, and soon after, the Zulu, Kundalini and Inca were introduced into the collection and featured titanium and sapphire crystal. Then, the Tati and Luna collections, which have an all-digital module and fit snugly into a smaller wrist, was introduced, and this was followed by the Equilibrium, which was produced in a limited number of 500. And now the Yes World Watch V7, effectively 20 years in the making and available to you right now. And just to reiterate what was said in a wild and funky 90 second spec in terms of dimensions, the Yes World Watch V7 comes in at a very, very juicy 16mm thick, it's 46mm case diameter and I measured it in at 55mm lug to lug. It's 22mm at the lug with this rose gold satin 3 link bracelet tapering down to 20mm at the signature push button deployment clasp. Now the case is constructed in titanium, this version I have is the satin case in rose gold with orange LCD display but it's also available again in rose gold but with a blue LCD display and also a silver tone case with a choice of blue or orange LCD display and a black case again with a choice of blue or orange LCD display. Now the case has four main menu buttons at what would be traditionally two, four, eight and ten o'clock. The Yes logo on the left hand side of the case with the Yes logo icon on the right. And being titanium, it's ridiculously lightweight and has a very premium quality feel to it. 
Now the crystal is scratch proof sapphire crystal and just a note that it is water resistant up to 10 ATM or 100 meters. And now for the star of the show and that's the dial. And central to this dial is the one 24 hour hand which sweeps around this 24 hour dial and is powered by a Ronda Swiss movement. And on this LCD display, the ratio of day and night is indicated here, with the darker markings indicating night and where there are no markings indicating day. And that singular 24 hour hand shows you exactly where you are in the day or night. And this LCD display also shows time for sunset leading into evening twilight and for sunrise, which follows morning twilight. And the digital orange ring has one dark segment indicating high noon, otherwise known as zenith, with a lighter segment indicating true midnight. And the outer ring here gives you an indication of moonrise and moonset, and the darker segment on that outer ring highlights lunar high noon with a lighter segment showcasing lunar midnight. Now the yellow circle here shows exact moon phase and also central to the star is the digital time itself and the Yes World Watch V7 is pre-programmed to 650 cities worldwide and that display and hand automatically adjusts for daylight saving time too. And this watch also has a range of alarms with a sunrise and sunset alarm capable of 0 to 99 minutes pre-alarm so you'll never miss a sunrise or sunset again. It also boasts equinox, solstice and cross-quarter day alerts with event times alongside times for moonrise, moonset, moon phase, a percentage illumination plus exact time and date for the next new and full moons. Now how cool is that? And it also has a stopwatch and even an electronic compass with north, south, east, west direction and degree readout. It really is like a supercomputer on your wrist and one which you'll find yourself getting to know much like you do with a brand new laptop, brand new PC or brand new mobile phone. So if you ever get one of these in your hands, you'll be spending a lot of time playing around with it, which I found really fun. But actually for me, it's at night where this watch really comes alive. The Yes World Watch V7 is armed with a set of titrum tubes and the push of a button will activate the electro-luminescent backlight, which looks cool. The bezel here is the 2400, which is perfect for keeping track of a second time zone, so great if you work internationally or travel around, but when you purchase the Yes World Watch V7, you do get a choice of bezels, all of which can be removed yourself quite easily. There's this 2400 bezel, an AM PM bezel for those wanting to tell the time in AM and PM format, symbol, which is pretty cool because you can use certain symbols as a way to code your own personal rhythms, solunar, indicating the daily sweep of the sun and moon, 60 minute, which is specifically designed to accompany the added 60 minute count in the outer yellow LCD dial, Roman, for those who want a classic interpretation of time, and you can get each bezel in silver, orange, yellow and blue to match your watch variant or if you want to mix and match. Now each bracelet in the entire Yes World Watch V7 is made from titanium, this being the rose gold satin 3-link bracelet, but other colour variants are available in 3-link and 5-link, but just to note that there is no 5-link option in the rose gold variant, but Yes offer a huge range of leather, NATO and silicon straps as optional extras. Each and every Yes World Watch V7 comes with all the tools you need to change the bracelets but also all the tools required to remove the bracelet links to adjust the size. Now this case back is attached with four small screws and features the World Watch logo and symbols with some specification on there and the charging point. Now on a full night of charging you'll get up to three months of battery life which is very impressive indeed and charging the Yes World Watch V7 couldn't be easier. On my 7.5 inch wrist it wears surprisingly well for a watch with, I don't know, for a watch with such meaty dimensions. Don't let that huge look to look put you off. Yes the height is something to behold but actually it's less like a UFO was landing on your wrist and more like a real alpha watch sits there instead. And the titanium makes this a very lightweight watch and one that feels ridiculously comfortable to wear and one that I sometimes forget is there. It certainly doesn't feel too bulky and actually if you like watches that have quirky inspirations and find less traditional designs aesthetics more appealing then you'll seriously love this on your wrist. For me the satin rose gold with the orange LCD and rose gold bracelet variant is the best that YES have to offer. 
So how much will the Yes World Watch V7 cost? Now if you were to purchase the Yes World Watch V7 with the titanium bracelet, the cost for this, the rose gold case or the black case with either blue or orange LCD display would be 995 US dollars which is approximately just shy of 800 UK pounds sterling in today's market and the silver tone case would cost 895 USD which is about 715 squids. Now other price variants are available for example if you wanted to purchase say a black case with orange LCD but with a silicon strap as opposed to a titanium bracelet it would be cheaper but I would urge you to take a look at the website and see what options are available. Overall well what can I say? The good people at Yes Watch kindly sent me this watch back in February 2023 and I must say I was ridiculously excited to road test it over the last three months. The Yes World Watch V7 is, well, it's a mini supercomputer on your wrist. Its real USP for me away from the looks is that it has solstice and equinox alerts among so much more. Yes, at first glance it may appear fairly complex if not overly complicated. But no other watch you'll ever come across will multifunction like the Yes World Watch V7. I mean, it took me a while to learn about this watch, what its primary functions are, and actually how it will influence my life. But learning about how this watch operates was actually half the fun. It's also made me take much more note of where I am during the course of the day and to anticipate, in particular, the evening twilight more than I would but also to know what moon phase we are in and just, well, just keep me in tune with the sky above me. Also, as a very basic level cinematographer too, something that very much features in my day-to-day -day job, this watch allows me to plan shots I want to take in that really important golden hour. It really is like having access to a font of knowledge on your wrist. The Yes World Watch V7 gives you the minute times for sunrise, sunset, zenith, true midnight, twilight, as well as solstices, equinoxes and cross-quarter days and also giving you times for moonrise, moonset, lunar high noon, moon phase, a percent of illumination plus dates and time for the next new moon and full moon with a microchip pre-programmed for an amazing 650 cities worldwide with that pre-programming valid up to the year 2099 and whilst all featuring a range of alarms, a stopwatch with a lap time and an electromagnetic compass. Oh, and also in seven languages too. English, Spanish, German, French, Norwegian, Italian and Portuguese. But it's also really cool. Now it's not designed to be a fashion watch, but actually it looks amazing on my wrist in my opinion and will certainly create conversations with anyone who comments on it. And there is so much to talk about with the Yes World Watch V7. So much so in fact that I'm excited to announce that I'm working on a very small documentary about time in that features the Yes World Watch V7, so keep a lookout for that in the coming months. I'm going to say something now, and I'm going to say something before this vid leads nicely into my walk around section. Something that is very cringe, very cliche, and something that will probably end my short YouTube career. And that is this. The Yes World Watch V7. It's a yes from me. Good morning, Yes World Watch V7, and good morning, Tim and Faya.
See you later, yes, World Watch V7.